All right, Shashir. So back in 2008, 2009, you told me the story of cathedrals in a one-on-one where we were talking about why my team wasn't performing at their top potential. Uh, You started talking to me about cathedrals. I wondered why at first, and then it all kind of clicked for me. So I wonder if you could tell us the story of cathedrals. So the story is, um, it's an old story, uh, maybe I guess a fable. This person comes up to three people at a construction site and ask them what they're doing. It's the first person and says, what's your job? And says, well, my job is I take the bricks from over here and I move them over here. As the second person says, what's your job? He says, well, my job is to uh, deal with the mortar. So I take the brick, I put mortar on it and I stack it up over here. And goes, the third person says, what's your job? And that person says, well, I'm here to build a cathedral and sort of describes the big thing that they're working on. The moral of the story is that people work very differently when they understand their purpose. And if you can help people connect to the bigger picture of what they're building, they'll just, you'll, you'll find they challenge themselves better. They deal with problems better. They, they find solutions. And so whenever faced with a team that isn't quite delivering the way you want or not motivated the way you want, before focusing in other places, I ask first, do they know what their cathedral is? Yeah, I think it's a really elegant question. Like, does a team know their cathedral? I wonder if yeah. you could share an example from your past. Um, sure. Probably one of the most memorable ones is uh, I told the story at the leadership offsite we did for the extended YouTube leadership team. Uh, we took everybody down to Los Angeles and had this this big discussion. I told the same story about cathedrals and someone asked for an example. And I, I happened to pick someone randomly from the from the crowd and said, can you tell me what your team does? And it happens to be one of the engineering leaders. And they started describing what they do and said, well, my team is responsible for related videos. And they said, okay, pretend I don't know anything about YouTube. This described to me what related videos means. And they said, well, you know, when you're watching a YouTube video, we figure out, we go through all the videos on YouTube and we find the right ones to put on the right-hand side that are the recommendations for what you're going to watch next. And then I asked everybody in the crowd, so what did that sound like? Did that sound like a cathedral? And in that particular example, it sounded almost exactly like we find the bricks in the pile of bricks we find and we stack them over here. And it wasn't very well connected to the why. What were they really trying, uh, trying to do? And the team ended up having a long discussion about it. And they came back, they actually ended up renaming the whole team. They called it the, the Watch Next team. And the, the goal became help people uh, figure out what to watch next in order to be, I think they landed on informed, entertained, or to solve a problem. And they, they kind of reframed the whole thing into a, into a why. And that led to a whole set of new approaches. And they stopped thinking about themselves as responsible for this area of bricks and more for a broader problem or opportunity for, for our users. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. I love that example. I think one of the things that I love about cathedrals and thinking about it more and rolling it out in different forms over the years is I think oftentimes people characterize it as like vision. And I think vision is like, it's great, but it's not really from the perspective of the people actually doing the work. And I think the cathedral story sort of immediately puts you in the shoes of people who are actually like doing the work alongside you as, as the leader. Yeah. So that's part of the reason I, I tend to prefer it. I also find that for us, it's like a very helpful shared language. You know, we can say very quickly diagnose a team. Do they have a cathedral? Do they not? Um, so I think it's great. Thanks for sharing that's great. the story. Thanks, Lane. All right.